Hey guys, Waterfaller41 here, and today we are installing some tow mirrors on the 2017 Sierra. So we put some MBRP exhaust a few weeks ago on it. There's the exhaust. Uh, but this is my brother-in-law's truck, and he just recently picked up these tow mirrors from Boost Auto Parts. So the box over here. So just kind of giving you a quick rundown. I already have a tow mirror installed, and I'll put the link down below. Uh, this install is going to go about the same. There's a few little nuances and we'll cover those as we go, but just a quick rundown of the mirror. So these are the regular black cap tow mirrors. These are manual fold. So they do have a power fold option. Those are unfortunately on back order. So he went ahead with the manual fold option. Then he has the switchback turn signals here. So with clearance lights, they'll be, I believe white. And then once the turn signal comes on, they'll shine at amber and they're the smoke lenses. So both lights set up the same way. Uh, and then on top of that, he also bought the harness uh, for wiring the turn signal to the mirrors. So this is a 2017. So GM was fortunate enough to give you the turn signal signal to this end of the, I think it's a Molex connector. But in order to get that signal up to the mirrors, if you have the DL8 mirrors, not the DL3, the DL3 already has the turn signal in there. But with the DL8 standard mirrors, you need to run, uh, I believe it's either two or three extra wires into the harness to get that signal from the door connection all the way up to the mirror. So it's pretty simple. Uh, Boost Auto has a bunch of videos on their website on how to do that. So we're going to go through and kind of show you some highlights of that one if there's any pointers on it. Uh, but again, these are the manual power or manual fold mirrors and they're electric adjustable. Uh, with this install, he's going to have functionality of these rear courtesy lights. And actually, he opted for the improved ones, or I guess the higher output lights. So not only will these shine out, you know, twice as bright as the original courtesy lights, but they're also going to be tied in using this diode with his reverse. So when he flips his truck in reverse, these lights will come on. So he's got the turn signal inside the mirror as well. They're heated, they're power. So for the most part, plug and play. Uh, the connector will connect right into the OEM plug. Uh, but there's just a couple little things along the way that you got to do just to make sure that every function of this works. Now, in my previous video, I installed similar mirrors. I purchased mine off Amazon, a little bit cheaper than these. Uh, but as far as quality, I'm sure these are going to out, outshine them uh, quite a bit. And the one thing that always comes up with tow mirrors is the amount of wobble when you're driving on the expressway. I've heard that the Boost Auto ones do a lot better with that versus the ones I had in, in the previous video. But anyway... Uh, right now, Tim's working on getting the door panel off both of his cars and or both of his doors, and then we're gonna pull out the wiring harness. He'll work on the harness, and I'll get the mirrors installed. Uh, but other than that, um, cheers to an install. All right, guys. So we got the door taken apart and the door harness out. So I don't have the door harness removal in my original video, so I'm gonna run through just kind of some tips here. So basically everything that has a plug on it has to come out. So everything down to the door lock actuator, the speaker, uh, the mirror connection and everything else, all that is all connected to one main harness in your door and that has to come out. And everything, so everything uses rubber grommets. You take every rubber grommet and you push it into the door. That one, push it in the door. The best thing to help with getting everything out of there and give you enough clearance is to take your speaker out. So once you take your speaker out, you get access to everything behind there. Um, but yeah, everything, so all, all the ends of the wires, they'll push in there. Um, there's a speaker wire, I believe there's some underneath here, but you push everything in here. Then you go in here, you undo the connector into your door or into the body harness. And then you take that cable, the rubber boot and everything and push it in. There's plenty of room on here to push the cable into the door. And then it feeds out through the speaker hole. So again, it's one big ass cable and everything pulls out through the speaker hole. Take some finagling and there's a lot of push tabs. So this tool right here will save you a ton of time. Definitely pick one up because there's a lot of these little, uh, there's a lot of these little push pins that go into some of the holes here and it's just for cable management. So it'll pop into that hole there. And then there's one here and a couple more on there. But then again, get yourself this tool, do yourself a favor. It'll save you a lot of aggravation. Give you an idea of what the door harness looks like. Here it is in all its glory. So like I said, everything that has a plug into it is connected to this harness. So everything needs to be unplugged before it pops out. But all these rubber grommets, they're soft enough that they can get pushed into the door and then you just pull it out through the speaker hole. 
So door lock actuator this is the end of the harness. Goes into what looks like a sensor inside the door. Um, what that is, I don't know where this goes, but plugged in something speaker maybe. Um, and then this is what goes into the back of the door. This is a latch that goes into the door panel itself for the locks and the, the unlock windows and everything. This is your OEM mirror, the female side of the plug. And then this is the main plug. So this is what you're gonna be adding a lot of these terminals to uh, in order for the turn signal to get to where it needs to go. All right, real quick tip before putting everything back together. So since you need to pull off the vapor barrier on the door in order to get the wiring harness out, you need to put it back on. So right now it's probably 40 degrees in my garage. So the glue itself was not that tacky. So if you take a heat gun and you just heat up the tape real quick, but that was just enough to keep this stuff nice or make it this stuff nice and tacky so it re-sticks. If you don't stick this on all the way, you're gonna hear rattling inside your door. This stuff's gonna vibrate uh, with, if you have better speakers, obviously. It'll definitely, you'll hear it a lot more. But heat it up with a heat gun and then you're good to go. All right guys, so we got the driver's side mirror on. So I just wanna show you how the switchback functionality works. So we're gonna take the truck and put the clearance lights on essentially, the side markers. So that's just the amber lights on the front and then just whatever, if you have LED accenting. So on Tim's mirror, that'll be a white LED. So the switchback portion comes in when you go to put the turn signals on or the hazards. So just put the hazards on. So now they are orange. Pretty sweet. Ramdog, what do you think? Good? All right, so we finished up the tow mirror installation. So just a quick overview. Removing the panel, you pop off this little, or removing the door panel, you pop off the interior panel. There is a panel in here and there. Undo the bolts, everything pops straight out. What you can do in order to save some time is pull the door panel straight out. Usually there's a weather stripping lip and you would normally pull the door up. But if you pull it out, you could leave that strip on and everything kind of stays in place. And then it makes it easier when you go to put the door panel back on, you just push it straight on. Then after you get the door, interior door panel off, you're gonna take off the sail panel and this is all one piece and just peels right off. There's two little pressure push pins on each side. Swap out the mirrors, do the little wiring, whatever Boost Auto recommends for your model truck and then reverse everything with these mirrors. So the DL8 mirrors that we had on this truck originally, we only had three mounting bolts. With the tow mirrors, you're gonna need four, so you're gonna have to drill a fourth hole. If you go back and look at my other tow mirror video, I uh, showed you where that fourth hole goes. Uh, but again, these mirrors are the same way, so I, I assume most tow mirrors are the same exact way where you gotta do that fourth hole. But then you reverse everything and everything works perfect. So here is a quick functionality test of the mirrors. So you wanna put hazards on? So he has a switchback, so in turn signal form, they're gonna be amber. Turn your hazards off, and then put the running lights on. So his running lights are amber, now hit your hazards. So when he hits his turn signal, they're gonna switch over to amber. So pretty badass product. Again, this was as plug and play as it possibly gets. It may seem a little daunting when there's a lot of wire running, but honestly, if you follow the videos from Boost Auto, the videos are spot on, the wires are easy to go in, and you really can't mess it up as long as you're paying attention. Other than that, this is a sweet install. Uh, we're very happy with the quality of the Boost Auto mirrors, um, and actually the little Boost Auto emblem there. But yeah, the mirrors look great on the truck. Thanks for watching.